Okay guys, I'm gonna shoot a quick video of this uh, um, 63 Impala Post car, Bel Air Post. It is a bench seat four speed. It's got a neat little motor in it. Um, it it's basically, I, I don't consider it a show car, but it's a pretty clean car and I'll address a couple of issues. The floor pans actually appear to be very good. There's a couple of body braces that need to, uh, that need to be replaced. Um, not replaced, but patched, and it's just a couple of them got some stuff right at the edge. So, you know, but the bottoms of the doors I wanted to address, it's real hard to see on this black, but the bottoms of the doors are in nice shape, the jams are in nice shape, the doors shut good, the trunk is in nice shape, um, like I said, so it needs a little bit of work. I don't consider it a show car, but you know you're not going to be embarrassed to take this thing to any cruise night that's for sure um so anyways uh so we'll get to the the rest of it um that trim is available aftermarket i've looked it up and i may get to ordering it i did order a gas tank for it it came in the other day i was out of town and i, I actually have to go out of town tomorrow wednesday and friday so I'm going to try to get to putting that in at some point. Car runs and drives the way it is. But uh, I, I thought the gas gauge was working and the gas gauge is not. So um, I wanted to go ahead and order another. Uh, you know, it has all new rubber moldings or, or rubber gaskets, new window felts, new headliner. They did the visors, the rear package tray, you know, the whole interior carpet seats, everything. Um, they did do the trunk. Uh, you can still see the initial, I don't know if you can see it in the picture, but you can still see the stamping in the floor and stuff like that. You know, they just carpeted it. Um, if, if there's been any quarter work done, I don't believe it's ever had quarters put on it, but really irrelevant. It's not, you know, new trunk gasket. It, it's not some, you know, numbers matching big block car. So it's kind of irrelevant. Um, just a, a super cool you know nostalgic car like i said there's a few it, it never been touched with a piece of sandpaper so that's another thing if you wanted to uh wet sand and buff this car you know there's a lot of uh there's a there's a lot you know it, it could look a lot slicker if that's the look a guy was after so um in, in the original generator and temperature light are hooked up but the aftermarket electronic gauges do not work um so it needs it needs those gauges hooked up properly which i i don't know how to mess with them electronic gauges i would just put a set of manual gauges on it i don't really like electronic gauges anyways um so like i said man. the door shut nice the cars you know really nice and i i don't want to call it rust free but i i i definitely would not call it rusty sorry about my video quality i'm not a not a video guy you know the guy told me it was a 5.7 i think he's wrong he didn't build the car um so i i i think it might be a 6.0 i've not run the numbers i i don't really care you know it's a cam ls motor kind of irrelevant um but i thought i'd look into it anyways uh if i get time i will but anyways very cool nostalgic looking 63 post car i think the bench seat you know four speeds awesome um high dollar interior that interior wasn't cheap so i uh I won't be doing anything to it this week. I am posting it for sale today. There'll be a still ad with still pictures and the price. Um, the, oh, the aftermarket radio does work, speakers, all that kind of good stuff. Ba basically, a little bit of tinkering, um, and, and somebody will have a cool cruise night car, you know. So, there you go. Six